Hello, dear reader. Welcome back to another episode of What You're Reading. People ask me all the time, I guess because I'm a professional writer, uh, they're curious about what I read. Well, I read for pleasure or research or just to inform myself. Um, and uh, I come here and I tell you about it. So um, I got this beautiful edition from Epicenter Comics. And once again, I promise you, I don't get these free. I'm not comp. They have no real relationship with Epicenter Comics other than the fact that I think they put out an amazing product that I wish more American readers knew about. Uh, largely, they reproduce, uh, they reprint uh, Italian comics uh, in English for the first time in really beautiful, affordable uh, editions. And this one is Ken Parker. I, I'm, I don't know. I, I think this might be the first time the long-running Ken Parker series has ever appeared in English. And long-running it is. Very, very popular uh, strip out of Italy, or comic series out of Italy that's popular across Europe featuring Ken Parker, who is a frontiersman, a trapper, a hunter, an army scout in the early days of the West. These stories uh, appear to be set 1840s, 1850s. Uh, and um, just... Great stuff, consistently great stuff. But this volume is is something of a of a high watermark for the series. Um, this is, it's an oversized volume in color, and it's largely wordless, and it tells the story of the passage of the seasons as experienced by Ken Parker. And uh, the amazing story is written by Giancarlo Berardi, uh, with beautiful. Uh, you can see it here, you know, watercolor and ink artwork by Ivo Malazzo. Um, and this is a big hardcover, just beautifully produced and, uh, and divided into four chapters. And it retails for $17.99. I mean, it is a hell of a deal, especially considering that you're probably going to want to read it more than once. I know I'm going to be revisiting this book uh, again and again. This is pure comics. This is pure visual storytelling and each story is uh, unique and different in its own some emphasize action some emphasize uh can bring out more of ken parker's uh character he is a very well-rounded character despite the fact that there are no words there's a really clever uh chapter that's uh largely told in um in pictograms uh you know uh native american pictograms and it's it's a it's a little bit of a of a love story. Uh, there's some tragedy there. Just great stuff. I don't want to spoil any of the stories. But if you're a comics fan, if you really if you really dig the medium, dig the the whole uh, idea of a story told in static sequential images, which is what comics are, uh, I urge you to try it out. Try out all of Epicenter's um, stuff. You can find them on eBay. You can find them on Amazon. You can find them at epicenter.com. Once again, I have no business association with these people. I just wish them tons of success in the USA for the my own selfish interests because I really want them to publish more of this stuff. I mean, I have shelves full of Italian comics I can't read. I can just look at the gorgeous artwork. Uh, I really would like to have shelves of English editions that I could read. Because these are some of the best comics and absolutely the best Western comics produced anywhere in the world. So um, give it a try if you're a fan of Westerns, if you're a fan of uh, comics at all. You've got to check out Ken Parker by uh, Berardi and Milazzo. And that's it for me this week. Um, I'll keep reading. You keep listening. Keep watching. <laughs> and I'll see you all down the road.